Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Amy Adams and Glenn Close are a dream team together. Both are phenomenal actresses, but I wish that their new film, Hillbilly Elegy, lived up to its potential with the two of them. It's now in theaters and will be streaming on Netflix November 24th, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Hillbilly Elegy is based on the memoir from J.D. Vance. He's played by Gabriel Basso. J.D. grew up in the Appalachian region, but has tried to overcome the hardships that his family faced and is now attending Yale Law. Just as he's set for an all-important job interview, he learns that his mother, Bev, played by Amy Adams, suffered a drug overdose, forcing him to go back home and take care of her. The film also stars Glenn Close as J.D.'s mamma, Haley Bennett as his sister, and Frida Pinto as his supportive girlfriend, Usha. Ron Howard directs, with Vanessa Taylor writing the film's screenplay. Gabriel Basso provides the film's narration as J.D. recounting the life that he's led. He enjoyed his summers in Kentucky and says, It's where my people come from. His everyday life was in Middle Day, Middletown, Ohio, which was only a slight upgrade from Kentucky. His adult life is now at Yale, and is a far cry from his Appalachian roots, and tries to prove that he's far more than a stereotype. It feels like these identity issues are what Hillbilly Elegy is generally about, yet there's a lack of specificity for what the film was trying to convey, and what was the, the core conflict at hand. Perhaps it's a reminder that we all have many sides to us, we all wear many hats, and not to judge people on, one, on any one role that we play. J.D. is struggling with all of these things, like so many college students do. He's a student, a devoted boyfriend, a grandson and son, and yet he can give equal time or weight to any one thing. That sense of loss is felt in Basel's performance. And I wish the marketing in the film catered on this more, as that's what this film is, the film is really his story. So much of it, though, felt like the marketing was catered toward Amy Adams and Glenn Close. Adams and Close play the film's two characters that are truly out there, sinking their teeth into the image of a hillbilly. And they both certainly look the part. Glenn Close has the tight perm wig, the large frame glasses, frumpy, hunched over posture, and is always surrounded by a cloud of cigarette smoke. I truly haven't seen her take on a role like this, which speaks to her dedication and willingness as an actress. It's a solid, strong supporting performance which really comes out more in the second half of the film. We've seen Amy Adams play damaged characters like this in Sharp Objects and The Fighter, both of which utilized her better. Oddly enough, she never finds dimensions with Bev. The tone of her scenes feels far too melodramatic, with no levels in terms of acting or emotional pull. I couldn't help but think that she was just yelling in every scene. Ron Howard was passionate about telling a story and shining a light on the people from the Appalachia region. I don't think that he or screenwriter Vanessa Taylor ever figure out which story they're trying to tell. The screenplay goes back and forth between J.D.'s childhood and the current day. There are many angles that this film could have taken on as there are lessons about environment, addiction, and education that are present yet never fully examined. This is a human interest story, and J.D. Vance is your neighbor guy next door type who reminds us we choose who we become. I'm giving Hillbilly Elegy two out of five ticket stars. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I get some other movie reviews, as well as my appearances on Twin Cities Live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Hillbilly Elegy. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.